Today we're going to crack open a fresh copy of one of the hottest games of the past few years, Root by Leader Games. Let's make it hot. Welcome to Board Game Nation. My name is Gary Blevins. Thank you so much for watching. If you like anything having to do with tabletop games, this is the place for you. Take a second, click that subscribe button and the bell to never miss a thing. Thanks. Today, we're going to show you everything that comes to the box, along with detailed pictures and names of each of the pieces. This game's got a lot of different tokens and pieces, and knowing what's what, it's going to go a long way to getting your first game started quickly after you crack open your copy. Before we jump into the box, a quick overview of the game. Root is a fast-paced tabletop game for two to four players. It plays in about 60 to 90 minutes and is for ages 10 and up. Each player takes on the role of one of four very different factions, all of which are vying for control of the vast woodland. This control is measured by victory points, and the first faction to reach 30 victory points wins. What I found especially intriguing about Root is the asymmetrical design of the game. That means that while all the players are racing to reach 30 victory points, each faction has very different methods of getting there. But you'll learn all about that when our full how to play video for this game is ready. When it is, it'll be right here. Okay, let's get down to the felt and crack some plastic. Now let's dive in here, let's see what we got. Back. Best game of the year, 2018, from Dice Tower. Two to four players, 10 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. All right, let's get to this thing. Okay. Nice design inside the box, that's cool. Lots of literature, walking through roots. This is an example of play. Learn to play, which is uh, a little bit more in depth with the rules. For the complete law geeks out there, we have the law of root. Uh, and this is the end all be all of everything you could want to know about every individual tiny little rule. And now we have the player boards, which represent each faction. These are. Ugh. Not the easiest to get out of here, let's see. We got four of them, we're gonna look more at those in just a second. There's the Erie Dynasty, the Vagabond, the Woodland Alliance, and the Marquise de Cats, and the board. We're gonna take a lot closer look at this in just a minute. We got our first punch sheet, lots of stuff for the Marquise de Cat, crafting items, More punch stuff, the castle, more warriors and rebels and all, all kinds of stuff. They're two-sided. And now we got the meeples. We'll get a closer look at all those in a minute. We have two D8s that are uh, pretty good quality. They're zero through three, uh, repeated twice, so. We've got a million plastic bags to go with all of your little meeples once you get those done, or your little tokens. We've got a deck of cards. This is an overview. I think these are all for the um, different factions. And then you have the general player cards that everybody will pull from. So we'll take a, a closer look at all of those um, right now. Here's a quick look at the uh, punch cards, unpunched, obviously, and this is what they look like on the back. Game comes with two different decks of cards. They are plastic wrapped. And they are very colorful. A couple of repeating cards in here, but a lot of original art. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But these all have the same back. The other deck has a variety of different cards in it. So it we'll start by looking at the backs. We've got the overview cards, and these are four of the same. They're going to give one to each player, and these are for each of the different factions. So when you go to set up the game, you give one of these to every player so that they can have an idea of what is what from each power. We have a number of cards here that, oh, 
These are specific to the Vagabond. So those will go with that player board. Uh, here are the overview cards for the Vagabond. So those are all kind of give you the, the overview for that one. Uh, these are different uh, characters that the Vagabond can play. These are different birds um, for the Erie Dynasty. So those are the cards. Now for a closer look at our woodland creatures. Do not eat. Well, we have uh, three bags here for four factions, but this faction also has the Vagabond token in it. The Vagabond's only gonna have one token, everybody else is gonna have a bunch. As you can see, the Marquis de Cat start out with a bunch. And now let's take a look at the board. It is an eight-fold map that is double-sided. Uh, one thing that I was hoping they would have fixed in this version is out of the box, it does bow a little bit. But it is an absolutely beautiful map, and if you give it just a little bit of a bend in the wrong direction, it gets really pretty flat. You give it a little bit of a, a talking to, and it usually lays down. Stay there and that works out pretty well. Once you've mastered this side and you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, you can flip it over and you can use the winter side of the map, which uh, changes a, a few of the rules and creates some, some interesting paths for, for our woodland warriors. Here's a quick look at both sides of the player boards. This is the side that you'll play with mostly. This is the side that you'll use to set up, which is pretty handy. So it'll take you right through everything you need to be able to do. So this is the Marquise de Cats. They've got the most uh, involved setup. The Woodland Alliance. Again, this is the front and the back. Pretty simple setup for the Woodland Alliance. The Vagabond. This is the front and the back. The Erie Dynasties. This is the front and the back. A quick look through the rule books here. The, again, this is the walkthrough. This will go with the, uh, the setup cards. So this is a, a handy little thing for kind of a GM to read through. Player one do this. Player two do uh, player two do this. And it's a great way to to kind of quick start the game to kind of get people right into playing, which is uh, which is good in a game as heavy as this one. Now they learn to play, which is kind of the medium um, step between the walkthrough and the, the laws of route, which we'll look at in a minute. Players, uh, after you get everything set up, you can, um, you can manipulate the map and you can do battle, you can use cards and craft new things, and of course, lots of battling. There's something called ambush cards in this game that make a big difference. Then it gets into the rules for each faction. So here's the Marquis de Cat, the Erie Dynasty, the Woodland Alliance, the Vagabond, which has pretty extensive rules. And then there's something called dominance cards, which will actually allow you to change your, uh, your victory condition, which is pretty cool. And then you can combine if you're playing two, three, or four players. And then there's the rules for the winter side of the map. And here's a glossary of the pieces. We're going to give you a little bit more detail than this. And last but not least, the Law of Root. And this is the kind of reference guide for the game. Obviously, it's very text heavy and very specific. Marquise de Cat, Woodland Alliance, The Vagabond, Eerie Dynasty. And then there is an expansion for this game that brings in the Lizard Cult and the Riverfolk Company. Uh, they've included the Laws of Root in this version because it's a really popular add on. Corvid Conspiracy, I don't know much about that. And then the Underground Ducky, these are whole new things I'm not familiar with, pretty cool. Illustrations by Kyle Farron, absolutely fantastic.
Let's take a closer look at each of the components. And that's Root by Leader Games. To get your copy of this amazing game, contact your local game store to see if they have one on the shelf. If they do, run. Don't walk. If they don't, they can likely order it for you. It should be selling for around 60 US dollars, but because of high demand and some limited supply, retailers on Amazon have been charging nearly double that amount. Do not pay this much. If you're like me and your local retailers couldn't help you, but you want your copy sooner than later, contact Leader Games directly. When our full How to Play video for Root is available, it'll be right here. For more unboxing videos, follow this link. For our latest bit of mayhem, here you go. And if you're ready to join Board Game Nation, click here to subscribe. My name is Gary Blevins. This is Board Game Nation. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.